when you're ill, drink your way out of it, because that's students, that's Georgia logic. And I've just realised I can't really say student logic anymore because I'm not a student. That's scary and depressive. Hey guys, so um, no creative comments this week because I'm ill and I've been doing a fair few jobs the past weekend and so, um, so unfortunately there are that's coming soon, I've been working on the script for the next one, thank you for the comments and stuff about the last episode and the introduction, glad you guys seem to be responding quite well to it, if you haven't seen it, this is the plug, it'll be down below in the links and somewhere around here I'll put the annotation so you can click on it, you can see what I've been doing and trying to be intellectual and all that, that's my, that's clearly what intellectual means. Anyway, so first up is Fourth Friday. It was a couple of weekend, a couple of weeks ago, um, which, if you don't know, is Star Wars merch release essentially, and it was like Christmas had come very early, and there goes all my money out my wallet from an email from Forbidden Planet, which basically said, "Hey, we've got a new ATA coming out, which is remote control and voice activated." If you know me, you know Empire Strikes Back is my biggest most favourite film and Star Wars and the Battle of Hoth is my favourite scene at every Star Wars film there and I've been attempting to get an at or as an ATA if you want to call that for the past well 22 years for and I've never had a toy version of it or whatever but this is kind of the most pinnacle except I saw the price of it and I weeped a little bit because I don't think I can justify spending 124 quid on a toy but it could be my little pet, so technically I could, because you know how much cats and dogs are, so a remote control at out which could run around and fire little lasers and you could pew pew pew. I'm just sounding a bit mad on that. Brains, and I saw this in War Stones, and I thought, oh my god, I can find out what's happened between this and the Force Awakens, or at least between the Return of Jedi and Force Awakens, basically. So far, it's. I can't say I'm very impressed with it, like, it sets up nicely, but I'm kind of, I'm only like a couple of chapters through, um, but maybe it's something that sort of, I think it's a lot of setup going on for later on novels, and possibly for Force Weeks. I'm biding my time in this, um, for writing wise it's not the greatest, but these times never usually the greatest in the world, but hopefully it'll get better as it goes on, so yeah. Talking of Force Awakens, um, it's been pushed forward in the UK, ha ha ha, America, sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry, um, by one day. So I'm seeing on IMAX that day, um, I'm booking off work. <laughs> this is how excited I am for Star Wars, to return. And yeah, and I did thought, I didn't say Lego. Oh my god, so much good Lego coming out. Yeah, oh dear, I'm gonna be so poor. Uh, don't wanna be poor. If there's any rich people out there who have a spare couple of hundred quid floating around, send it my way, it'll be used in a loving, loving manner, I'm sure. Please? Of course, it's September's not even over, but um, I'm thinking about Halloween. Sorry guys, um, I know. There's not as bad as thing about Christmas, although I did mention Christmas earlier, so technically I'm as bad as any retail store in the world, aren't I? Halloween's come around and I'm kind of stuck what dresses, because I've never really put an effort at Halloween. I have to admit this, put my hands up. Don't you uh, um, Yeah, I never really dress up as Halloween. As Halloween? Yes, whole of Halloween. No, I never dressed up for Halloween. Um, I've done that once or twice. I've never really successfully, but um, I have a reason to. I, I'm kind of stuck, to be fair, guys. Um, I'm kind of thinking Marvel, DC, superheroes thing. I've had a couple of people say to me, Captain America, Hawkeye, and um, Star Lord were kind of rough, so. I'm kind of on an on it, but the thing is, I need to be able to work in it as well. What do you guys think? Do you have any of those three, or any of those you can suggest to me? Can you put down below, because I kind of need help with this. Um, something that's practical, and that can actually wear, um, and it's not going to bankrupt me as well, because money's an issue. That's adult life for you, just money. Issues. Not money, just issues. Severe lack of money. I'm a poster for post-uni life, aren't I? Yay. Oh, what are you guys thinking about doing for Halloween? Are you thinking about dressing up? And who has or what has even? Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for hopefully correct comments. If not, then I'll need to be a bloggy things. Hopefully, I'll be as ill. Catch you guys later. Bye. I mean, if I'm going to Star Lord, I kind of have to work on the whole Chris Pratt frosting thing, isn't it? Is it something like that? I don't know. It's something like that. One step to porn, eh?